With Motion, there's two different report types that you can create. We already dove into the top performing report, this one here, earlier when we looked at our top performers for the past two weeks. We're now going to dive into comparative analysis. So the difference between these two report types is that top performing shows you the individual ads and how they're performing on that individual level, versus comparative analysis is creating buckets or groups together to show you a higher level analysis. So essentially allowing you to find larger trends about what's working across the account. So let's go ahead and create a comparative analysis now. Now I'm gonna do one for my creators, so creator comparison. And for my side of things, I work with, let's say three different creators that make content for me, and I wanna see which creator is returning back best for me. So let's build those groups together. So this is where you're gonna be defining those different groups. So I know my first um, creator's name is Bumblebee, and then I have Wheeljack, and the last one I have is Optimus. Optimus Prime. So what I'm going to do is add the filter and I know it's within my ad name. So ad name contains Bumblebee for the first one. Whoops, I did an extra E in there. Bumblebee. My next one is Wheeljack and again it's within my ad name. Wheeljack. And third one is Optimus Prime. So let's go ahead and create those three groups. So as I mentioned, this is essentially bundling ads together into a group so I can compare those groups to one another. As I can see here, there is 289 ads for creator 1, 306 for creator 2, and 275 for creator 3. Now I can head down here. I can select my date range that I would like. 14 days is what I'm going to do for this one. Actually, let's go back 30 day window. Maybe I want to look at a longer time frame for my different creators to see how they've been performing. And I can even add a global filter. So this is going to apply to all the groups above. So let's just say I only want to look at ads that I've used within my prospecting stage of funnel. Or say, for example, you have a number of different products and you want to see how these creators are performing on those different product levels. Um, again, anything within your naming conventions you can use here. So I've gone ahead and defined those groups now. And I can select whatever metrics I would like here as well, too. So in this case, I want to see which one is returning back best. So I'm going to keep it as spend versus ROAS for me. So as I can see here, that even though we've put a little bit more spend into Optimus Prime, Bumblebee is actually returning back quite well. So this might indicate for me that actually I think I want to work more with Bumblebee and get them to make more content for me. And maybe we'll even push a bit more spend towards that creator. If I head down here to the bottom table chart as well, you're going to get an overview of all the metrics you've added in. Again, you can fully customize this as well, depending on what metrics you would like to look at. But I could select into this group here in this case, if I wanted to see what kind of content Bumblebee is making, let's go ahead and click that group. You're going to get this pop up here on the right hand side, which is going to show you all the ads that are attached to that group. I can even click into an ad. Let's go ahead and click this to showcase the video attached to that or the image or static or whatever it might be in terms of ad content. So a great way to quickly preview what that ad is. But I can also create a top performing report. So we're going to go back to that first report style showing you all the individual ads. You'll be able to have the bar chart or any type of view you'd like to see um, for the specific creator. So just again, instead of saying Bumblebee is working really well. We want to work with Bumblebee again to make more content. I can create this top performing report to then see the individual ads and see maybe which ads actually were working best from Bumblebee and which ones maybe weren't performing as well. So that way, when you go to reach out to Bumblebee to make more content, you could say, this is a style I want you to lean into. So again, comparative analysis report just allows you to essentially create these groups or bundles to compare to one another to have that higher level analysis of what's going on between these groups. Think of this as um, you could even look at like product one, two, or three, promo style one, two, or three, messaging one, two, three, hook one, two, three. The sky's the limit, really, anything within your naming conventions. Now, speaking of naming conventions, if you want to dive a little bit deeper into how you can essentially update your naming conventions or some different tips or tricks that we have on our side for that, head over to the next section. And that's where we're going to dive a little bit more into those best tips and tricks to get the most out of motion and the most out of your analysis.